The race to be the thinnest laptop is a never-ending quest, but Acer's $1,200 Spin 7 is definitely the sweetest of 2-inch 1S we've ever tested. It boasts a gorgeous, fanless, black aluminum design, exclusively with USB Type-C ports. But the choice to go fanless and use a low-power CPU makes the Spin 7 less powerful than competitors. It also doesn't last as long on a charge. That makes the Spin 7 a strong choice for those who care most about aesthetics, portability and the latest ports. The Spin 7 is what a premium 2-inch minus 1 device should feel like. It's a thin, black block of aluminum with curved edges and clean lines. The lid is decorated solely with Acer's logo in grey, and the hinges are silver, which helps break up the design a bit. When I opened the lid, I was greeted by a 14-inch, 1080p display with minimal bezels on the sides, an island-style keyboard, a massive glass touchpad and a deck made of the same solid, gorgeous material as the lid. Like Apple's new MacBook Pro, the Spin 7 is all about USB Type-C. On the right side of the notebook are two USB Type-C ports, both allow for data transfer and power, and you'll need to use one for charging. Only one works with DisplayPort and a headphone jack. A security lock slot near the power button is all you'll find along the left. The 14-inch, 1920x1080 Gorilla Glass display isn't as bright as its competitors, but it produces sharp images with vivid, accurate colors. The lush green trees and bright teal water on either side of a beach serving as a battlefield in a 1080p Wonder Woman trailer just popped out. I could easily make out the shrapnel in some explosions during the battle. Who says that a shallow keyboard can't be comfortable? The Spin 7 offers only 1.2 mm of travel and requires 51 grams of force to press, but the keys were responsive, and I never bought them out. I blazed along at 118 words per minute on the 10fastfingers.com typing test surpassing my 107 WPM average while maintaining my usual 2% error rate. The speakers on the Spin 7 are surprisingly clear for a laptop of this size, but I wish the sound were a little louder. When I listened to Blink 182's The Rock Show, I could easily make out the vocals, guitars, drums and even the bass, which tends to suffer on many consumer laptops. It just managed to fill a mid-size conference room with sound, so I had to rock out on my own. Our Spin 7, with a 1.3 GHz Intel Core i7-7Y75 mobile CPU, 8 GB of RAM and a 256 GB SSD, makes for a decent multitasker. I had 25 tabs open in Google Chrome, including one streaming a 1080p episode of The Daily Show with Trevor Noah without any lag. But it wasn't as strong as similar competitors on our benchmark tests. The reason? Other companies didn't go with fanless, mobile chips. The Spin 7 doesn't last nearly as long as its competition on a charge. It endured for 6 hours and 53 minutes on the laptop mag battery test, which browses the web continuously over Wi-Fi. The ultra portable average is 805, and rival computers all surpassed that number. The MacBook Pro and the Spectre X360 lasted 950 and 1006, respectively, while the Yoga 910 survived for 1036. The 720p webcam is good enough for a Skype call with your buddies. The colors are a bit on the pale side. In a picture I snapped, the red stripes on my shirt appeared a light pink and the photo was a little grainy. I was able to make out a few details, though, like individual hair is on my head. Despite the Slim 7's fanless design, it maintains a reasonable temperature while running. After streaming 15 minutes of HD video from YouTube, the bottom of the notebook measured 95 degrees Fahrenheit, meeting, but not exceeding, our maximum comfort threshold. The touchpad hit 81 degrees and the keyboard between the G and H keys reached 85 degrees. Acer includes only a few pieces of software with the Spin 7. I appreciate a Acer Quick Access, which makes it easy to turn on the blue light shield feature, which helps to reduce eye strain. The Acer Care Center is a one-stop shop for updates and recovery management. 
The Acer Spin 7 is one of the most beautiful consumer laptops I've seen this year, and arguably one of the best designed 2-inch 1S around. It jumps into USB Type-C with both feet, and I appreciate that Acer includes adapters to ease the transition. But for the price, you're getting less power and less battery life than what competitors offer.